Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I'm talking about acute diarrhea 2. And I'm talking about symptoms and diagnosis. For you to enjoy this, I advise that you kindly go through acute diarrhea 1, where I've talked about causes and different types of diarrhea. Okay, let's go. Enteric pathogens in small intestine, or you call it small bowel. In small intestine or small bowel, you're going to find bacteria like Salmonella, E. coli, Clostridium perfringens, Staphylococcus aureus, Aromonas ladrophila, Bacillus cereus, Labrocholeri. And you're going to find viruses like rotavirus, norovirus, and astrovirus. Protozoas are not left out, and you're going to find Cryptosporidium, Microsporidium, Cystio asospora, Cyclospora, and Gadel lamblia. The large intestine, or some people call colon, you're going to find Campylobacter, Shigella. Clostridioides difficile, that is formerly known as Clostridium difficile. You will find Yersinia species, Labroprimolyticus, Enteroinvasive E. coli, Shigella, Klebsiella, viruses like Cytomegalovirus, Adenovirus, or Epis. You will find protozoa like Entamoeba histolytica. The clinical features will include watery diarrhea, like if you listen to my first presentation on acute diarrhea, I've defined diarrhea to include that, okay? There may be abdominal pain because sometimes it is painless and there's possibility of stool with or without mucus or stool with or without blood. I have abdominal distension, weakness, Increase heart rate, dizziness, oligurian, increased thirst, particularly if the individual is becoming dehydrated or hypovolemic. There's possibility of vomiting, fever, weight loss, and confusion. Still on. Clinical features, you are going to have what's called physical examination, and the individual may appear toxic, particularly if the causative agent is bacteria in origin and very weak, when a lot of electrolytes and fluid would have been lost. You would have become dehydrated, and you could pick that through dry leaves, tongue, and skin chocolate. When apovolemic shock has set in, there will be decreased blood pressure, increased pulse, utter sensorium, or loss of consciousness. You may have abdominal distension, garden rigidity, pain on percussion, tenderness, and rebound tenderness, depending on the cause. With paralytic eyelids. Oh, let me talk a little bit about paralytic eyelids here. That is as a result of loss of potassium. So when there's hypokalemia, there will be paralytic eyelids. The diagnosis is mostly clinical, but you can do complete blood count with platelets. Have your blood electrolytes, particularly sodium, potassium, chlorine, and bicarbonate. When I call for complete blood count and platelets, the platelets component of it is to rule out hemolytic gremic syndrome. A ligma reaction is possible with Clostridioides difficile, formerly known as Clostridium difficile. You can have blood culture done, particularly if the individual is having high grade fever. And of course, stool Clostridioides difficile antigen. We, this is secondary to the use of antibiotics. You can have stool MCS, that's microscopic conscious sensitivity, with fecal leukocytes. 
still on diagnosis, you can have stool 4 over of parasites. And you can have stool in case of inflammatory bowel disease for fecal lactoferrin and carprotectin. You can have rectal swab for E. coli, particularly if it's expecting S. H. R. coli 0157 or H1. Also, do swab for Salmonella, Campylobacter, or Shigella. So, rectal swab is very welcome here if you want to get rid of those bacteria. You can also have stool for Amoeba antigen or endoscopy for inflammatory bowel disease or celiac disease. SHR coli 0157 or H7 toxin test could also be done. To have shiga toxin test and clostridioides divisi toxin, formerly clostridium divisile, could also be assayed. And with that, I've come to the end of symptoms and diagnosis of acute diarrhea. The next will be entirely on treatment. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get these presentations immediately they are published. Thank you. I appreciate it.